let's have a look at the import functionality available within Qmetry. Now there are going to be scenarios where the users have written their test cases in CSV or Excel, and basically they want to go ahead and import all of those test cases already written or maintained in CSV or Excel back to our test management. To import those files, just go to test case module, go to the gear icon and select import functionality. Now, once you click on import, these are the options available. So we have test case steps in multiple rows, and then we have the test case steps in single rows. Let's go ahead and choose a file where we have to basically import our test cases from. Now, once the file has been selected, go ahead and select the sheets from which you want to import your test cases from and select the header row. Now, these are the settings that I've selected. Now, let's have a look at the Excel file itself from which we will be importing our test cases. Now, this is the Excel file which contains multiple test cases and each row here you can see is one test case. And since this is a multi-step test case, there are white spaces between each and every single test case. So this basically helps Qmetry understand or differentiate between two different test cases. And these steps will be considered as multiple steps. So when you import your test cases from this Excel with multiple steps, the test case created would have these steps available. And if it is a single step, each row would be considered as one test case. Now let's have a look at the different labels that we have available inside our Excel. We have the summary, the labels, the priority, status, the execution minutes, the test case folder, the path where the test cases when created would be imported. And then we have the test category, the test case description, step description, step input data, and the expected outcome. So these are the labels that we will be utilizing inside Qmetry to map to the fields from Qmetry. Now let's go back to Qmetry and have a look at the import process. Now, once we have gone ahead and selected the file, go ahead and click on next. Now, this is where you have to map the fields from the sheet to the fields inside Qmetry. We also have the auto map option available. So if the sheet field names or the headers match the ones in Qmetry, the auto map function will help you automatically match them for you rather than you going ahead and selecting each one of them individually. Now, if we have gone ahead and selected the test case folder path as well, and if the folder path is mentioned inside the CSV or Excel that we are importing our test cases from, the folder path would be created for you if it does not exist already. We can also go ahead and save our map so that if you want to go ahead and import multiple test cases later on, the other users can also go ahead and utilize your mapping that you have already gone ahead and saved. Click on next. And if you want to specify which folder we want to push the test cases to from the Excel that we're importing from, we can go ahead and select the folder. Or since we have already mentioned the test case folder path, the test cases will be automatically created in the folder that we have given. Go ahead and click on finish. Once we click on finish, where we can see is that it, the schedule has been done for importing your test cases. And let's have a look at the scheduler. Now, once we are in the scheduler here, you can see is the status of our import process. So if I go ahead and expand our import status, you can see 12 test cases have been created. And now if we go back to our test case module, we have our folder created as well. And each of those folders would contain the test cases imported from your CSV or the Excel file. Now the import functionality can not only be utilized for creating new test cases, it can also be utilized for updating the test cases that already exists. So when you import test cases back inside Qmetry from the CSV or Excel, if the Excel contains the entity keys as well that match the one that already exists, the test cases matching those entities would be updated automatically on the fly and a new version of the test case would be available. The import and export functionality is available not only for the test case module, but it is also available for the requirements module as well as for the test suits module. So if you want to update your requirements or you want to create new requirements from a CSV or Excel, the same functionality as that we just explained is available for your requirements module as well as for the test suits module.